Hi, I'm Tom Mason, and in my work with PowerSchool, I frequently encounter teachers who could use a little reference on how to enter comments for their students. They might only do it a couple of times in a year, so it's good to have a reference to remember what to do. The first thing you're going to want to do to enter your comment is open the subject you need to enter comments for, then find the student in question. In this case, I'm using a test course, and there's one student whose name is April O'Neill. Double-click on the final grade area, in this case it's an 88, so I'll just double-click right on that. Then if you make sure you click on this tab that says Score, you'll notice there's a block for comment. All you need to do is type in the comment that you want to appear. In this case, I'm going to say, April has made excellent progress this semester. And then I hit Close. Now if you look closely, you can see right here, there's a little blue circle with a letter C inside. And if I hover my mouse cursor over that, I can see the comment as I typed it. That means that the comment has been saved, and you can save your class, and you're good to go. The next thing to do is, say you want to make an adjustment to that comment or delete it. You can double click on the score once again, and then I can just hold down backspace and just wipe out that comment. I could make a change. You know, anything I need to do is good. Next up, if I actually go to this tab that says Comment, and I pick the District Comment Bank, I can see a bunch of preset comments that have been entered at the district level for my school in PowerSchool. What that means is that your administrator will have entered a bunch of comments that you can pick from instead of having to type them over and over. And if you find that there are comments that you're frequently using for your students repeatedly, just tell your PowerSchool admin and they can enter these for you on the administrator side of PowerSchool. They also have variables in them. You can see that this one says first name in brackets. All that will do if I double click on it, see it adds the comment down in the comment at the bottom, and it says the student's first name. So you don't have to even type it, which is really great. So if you want to add a comment or multiple comments from this comment bank, simply double click them and they'll appear in the comment area and then you can hit close. So in summary, Simply double click on the student's final grade to open the final grade window. From there you can use the comment tab to enter comments from the comment bank. Or you can simply click on score and just type in the comment that you want to appear. Hit close to save. And that's all there is to it. Again, I'm Tom Mason and I hope this video has been helpful to you. Make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of further videos you'd like to see. Thanks.